Um, we have a complaint made against you. Um, uh, trying to get all the details. Ms. Shaker has had conversations with an attorney. They are accusing you of uh, sexual harassment. Mm. Um, she believes that there's a lot of evidence. And I'll let her speak to that. I have not talked to the attorney. So we need to have a discussion today about this. Um, it looks like you're probably headed to paid administrative leave. Uh, she can tell you to substantiate that a little more for the conversations that her and I have had today. So, go ahead and... We've, so there's an attorney out of Cleveland that we've been contacted by, um, like literally this morning, contacted by this attorney in Cleveland, and they have, I don't know, I don't know how to do this, they have Rebecca Husky mm -hmm. um, as apparently a new client. Um, and she has made some allegations to them that they want to um, get more information on. So they called us to advise, well called me, to advise me that um, they're gonna, they're gonna get all this information from her. They're, they're, they're like trying to build a timeline um, with her, but she's having some trauma so it's, it's hard for her to put stuff down. So they asked us for a little bit of time, but they wanted to tell us what was going on. And it just like shocked me that, you know, I was getting a call from this attorney's office. Um, but she's made um, allegations and they're sexual in nature. Um, and she, she's really kind of messed up from it right now. Um, like to where like she's just probably not in the best mindset right now. Um, so I don't know who led her to an attorney. I don't know like why she didn't tell anybody else first or like why she didn't like, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what the process was in her head or how she got there, mm -hmm. but it's just that that's how we were made aware of what she, you know, what she, she's scared to come back to work. Um, and we need to put the initial, you know, protections for you, you know, and for her on so we can do everything by the book. I mean, that's, we just have to make sure that we do everything by the book to protect you, to protect her, to just, just kind of do the, administ the paid administrative leave. Um, that's what they requested us to do. So, you know, we want to make sure that we just follow protocol and um, they didn't the allegations aren't super developed yet I guess from what they were they didn't give me a lot of information yet um, they said it was to come um, they did give me a couple of instances um, I don't know if you want me to go further or not or, yeah, just, go ahead. I don't care. or just leave it um, so they said that um, there was an incident right before um, the week before Memorial Day where you were in your office and you attempted to kiss her and like grabbed her face and attempted to kiss her and she pulled back. Um, that was one instance they gave. Um, they said you went to her house Saturday um, and that like freaked her out. I don't know if she was home or not or if you talked she to her. She was home. I've been to her house three times. I'm trying to get paperwork on her illnesses. Okay. Yeah, so. I don't know. They just said you went to her house. They didn't really elaborate why or how or um and then they said that um you had her be your like administrative assistant or like have her help you with she's helped whatever she's helped it with brian and i on different things safety time and that yeah and so. she felt super uncomfortable just being in like small spaces like you you know you, you know how you go and you reach over someone and you like look at something so mm -hmm. those are just a few instances they gave um there's going to be more um, from what the attorney said. He said there's at least eight instances, but they did not share well, yet. I'm sure there's going to be some texts and some other stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't what know. What do they want for resolution? I don't know. I don't know. That's I, I was trying very hard to be very diplomatic and kind of, you know, feel around. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think... Um, 
I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because That's I don't. Right. Because I just don't I, know. I'm very disappointed that she do that without coming and talking to me. And it's 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 been over a year. She did some things, and it's it's more of a joking aspect back and forth. And if it was bothering her, she should have said something. Right, and like I said, I don't know what got her to the point of going to an attorney. Well, it could have been. You it, know, it, it could be a number of things. And like I said, I've tried to do everything I can. She's very unstable. Yeah. And I've so tried. Much very hard to help her. Yeah, well, I she's... gave her a bunch of vacation time, or not vacation time, but sick time so she could get through with her back surgery. I've made a, a arrangements for her to come back into work so she is not losing any money. And she um, obviously had this last... She had surgery last Friday. Yeah, for that incident. That's got to that's gotta mess with, with yeah. your head. I can't imagine that wouldn't mess with your head. Um, you know, the... From I understand from the where you're pregnant and your fallopian tubes, mm -hmm. they, yeah. I mean that's got to mess with anyone. I don't, you know. So that's that's all we have. Um, so the paid administrative leave would continue until the investigation is complete. We're going to um, farm out the investigation um, to uh, I don't even know, but we're just probably, gonna. They'll probably just run it through Clemens and Nelson on yeah. internal stuff. And that's, Let that them take care of it. I have no idea if they're going to go criminal and take it to the sheriff. I have no idea. I, I have not talked to anybody but her. On yeah, this subject. and I, I wish I uh, I wish I could get a better handle on what that attorney you know is looking for. Um, I say we, we wait and see what happens when he sends you the letter stating yeah. all the facts and claims. Then we have internal where you can answer that to the people and do it that way. Uh, get do the Garrity right so that doesn't come into criminal if it if it goes that far. I don't have any idea if it's going to go that far. I don't know her. I don't know her at all. I don't I, either. I didn't even know who she was until I, when we were down she's, there. She's just been but, crazy. I guess the easiest way to put it under a tremendous amount of stress. I'm, well, this I, I'm just sick to my stomach. I, I, I mean, for you, I am. I, I'm I mean, tired of this shit. I know it. It's a. It's just. It's it, just one other thing yeah. that we we you and I have had these discussions. It's just another fucking layer. My question to you. Who do I have to go down and make somebody in charge? Who who is? Is it Brian? Is it what do you what do you want me to do? Yeah, give it to I'm Brian. Give it to Brian? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately you probably have to leave your truck at this fire station. That's fine. Give me an hour to get it empty. You do you don't even you, whatever. I mm -hmm. don't care. But just then you can't come back on the premises, I guess. Is that what you said? I, right. Obviously, you don't I have don't. any contact with her. Whatever you do, do please, not go please, there. please stay away from please her. Please do not. Because I don't, I've not talked to her at all. She would not uh, be No, she would not. This, yeah. Because you there tried was, or something. There was nothing know. that it was her attorney contacted us and basically told us that any conversations take place have to go through the attorney. There's no. And wh who, who was it? The what attorney. Was the company? Um, it. The attorney's name is his last name is Chandra. Um, he said this is attorney Chandra. I can't. His first name I think it's it's an Indian name. It's Sab Sab Sabid or Sab I'm not sure. I need to look up. Um, it's probably the same one handling her lawsuit against Firelands. Who? Rebecca suing Firelands for surgery, her back surgery. Issues. Really? See, there's so many layers. To there's this. so many layers, and I didn't know anything is, about that. This is that would actually make sense because that would make sense um, because what's his name? Sean? And so from my stand, only thing I'll, I'll tell the supervisors, I suppose I'll have to call the board check to tell them because they see deal with you or I shouldn't. Tell me, tell me where to go. You, you tell whoever you want. I don't care. No, we we. No, no that's why I'm going. Yeah, no, we want to try to. Who should be in charge? I'm saying it's administrative leave. Nobody's going to hear one other effing word out of Tracy. So right. I can tell you that now. We want to try to not, we're not going to be blasting this anywhere. This is, we're trying yep. to definitely, like, right now, it's just paid administratively. Yep. You I'm know? working out for you, man. I'm it's nothing more. It just absolutely sucks. So it's, it's so, sucks. it's sub, it's S-U-B-O-D-H, Chandra. I don't know. Um, don't I have care. no idea. It's a law firm out of Cleveland. I'm very disappointed that she did it and didn't come talk to me. And has there been some situations? And I probably overstepped a boundary or two, but so is she. Yeah. 
I don't. Like there is said. there has been no relationships, no nothing along those lines. There's been joking back and forth, text, etc. In my opinion, if she's was uncomfortable, I wish she would have come to me. Yeah. Do you think and she has texts of something you shouldn't have probably said? Probably. Um, yeah, I and yeah, I mean, I, I like I said. I wish I would have kept some hurt. Right. But I just delete them because I laugh at them and delete. Sure. So yeah, I mean, obviously, we don't know how big of a bomb they're gonna drop. We just we Not don't. Really but. It's, you know, it's, and she, she did make the statement that she is very concerned about the firehouse and very concerned about tearing it apart. And we are too. We, you well, know. This stuff, I mean, by doing that, tears it apart. Well, but we have, I mean, but, you know, and that's why. You look out for his name, that's all. Right, right. And you have to look, right, absolutely. You have to look out for yourself and, name. you know, that's yourself it. and that's, you know, your kids and your family. And, you know, I mean, it's all. I don't know, like I said, if we can keep this, you know, if we can keep this like internal, you know, no no police involvement, that would be the best situation for everyone. Um, you know, but the thing is, is she may just say like, oh, if he's still there, then I want criminal charges or something. So I don't know. I just don't know what I've never, I don't think I've ever had more than a high, you know, Kind of conversation with her so i don't i don't know i don't know I don't somebody know. there's somebody she is rose's sister rose husky and rose husky yes. is probably pushing it who's rose okay. is rose like her age or younger or older older she's older okay. and her and i've had a couple rose and i've had problems with regards to so if she went to rose you're thinking rose says yeah fuck yeah go get her yeah because i smoked her at the hospital a few weeks ago she made a comment at the hospital and I told what's his name? Yeah, but just please, please just stay away from her. As far, I ain't gonna go anywhere near. As far away as possible. Her husband is working today or her boyfriend is working today. Just, just as, as nonchalant as possible as, you know, I mean, because Nobody know. Like I said, right now the only people who are aware of this is Tracy, myself, um, obviously Rebecca, the attorney, and then Tracy called Clemens and Nelson. Um, that's it. So you know, we, we don't. It, we're not out to make this like a big thing. We just want to just see if we can just get through this and see have the best possible outcome because right. no, it's. No, don't say that. No, I want to clear your name. Yeah, we want to make that's, sure that's things all are Tracy good. Cares about at this point. I think everybody on the outside knows my name's good. And they know what her what I is. Said too. And yeah. they know who she is. Yeah. I'm well, very disappointed it went that way, especially everything that I've done to help, done to help get her out. out. Yeah. Then you get so. slapped upside the head. That's bullshit. I didn't yeah. know all that. What, what's that no good deed goes unpunished? Yeah, like, that's seriously. what my wife says. That's seriously. True. It is. And it's, it's just... Uh, you know, even back to the Leon thing, she made the same, tend to the same shit back to him, and she sat on his lap, if you remember, at one of our parties, and all that kind of shit, and it's all fun and games with that. She's getting no benefit out of anything. She's not been fired because of this, and uh, so, I mean, I just don't understand that. I guess. No, I won't drag her name through the mud. She's got enough problems. Well, just protect yourself. Yeah. That's all I'm saying to you. You do what you got to do, but just protect yourself. Yeah, I don't like I said I don't know her, but I just I just don't under like I personally in my mindset don't understand why she went to the attorney first. That's right. what that's what you know is like. Somebody's pushing her. It's or not. she might have the medical claim. Like if she if she has the medical claim against Firelands, she may have not needed to go very far because it might be the same place. I don't know. That's a good point. But that makes that makes a lot more sense. But she brought that up when she was doing the medical and this or something. Then just randomly going to an attorney. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to go to an attorney in Cleveland out of the blue. Come on, unless it. Wasn't. And they're one of those. They're one of those. Um, you know, you don't you don't pay up front. You know, we usually oh, get, really? get we get the you. settlement from you after. So that's usually that screams medical. You know, that screams like you know, like um, you know, me medical malpractice. What about you, 
You know, you're going to get 50000 I'm getting 52 will not you? So. Well, yeah, because they get a yeah, cut. They, they, they get, get a cut, cut of it. So I don't, like I said. I'm sorry, Chief. Uh, but that's Me what too. Have to do that it is what it is. Who's financially responsible here at the city? With on work, if it's on work time, I think that the city gets involved with that. If it's on your personal time or going to the house after work, then it's pro you probably want an attorney too. I mean, I'm just saying for my case, I had one from the city, but I also had my own personal attorney, and I would always tell, I can't tell you what to do, but that's what that's what I did. Let me just say that. I had my own personal, I grabbed Terry Dunn to be my own personal. He was in every single meeting that I had or deposition I had to do. I had Terry Dunn at my side and a city attorney. That's how it worked. So that'll be the thing. We don't know what the, the allegations is. Is it going to be after work right. stuff? Is it going to be during work stuff? I don't know. All right, we don't know. I well, mean, so the, far. If you told me there's text, were those during working hours? Was it after your working hour? I mean, who knows? So I can't totally answer. But you know, I'm saying yes. If it's if it's city related and from that position, then yeah, it would. We'd have to to help out for sure. But I'd get my own too. I I, I just didn't believe. I thought that those lawyers were just negating what happens to this situation, not taking care of Tracy from a personal standpoint. Right. And that's why I did my own. And that's, right. that's just, I'm not telling me what to do, that's what I did. And that's how I handled it. Right, and like I said, I mean, she, she brought up one incident that was at home, and then one incident that was at work. So I don't know, I mean, I don't know what, what, what the other incidents are gonna be. It, it frustrates me that we are at now at the mercy of this attorney, you know, to get all this information. Because I told, I said, listen, we need to get, we need to get this information. You, you know, you can't just be making like, you know, two allegations and then say there's more to come. But I think just to protect you, just administrative leave, protect the city. That way, the city can say, listen, we, you know, we just did the administrative leave to keep things kosher, keep things, you know, without. You know any type of escalation, if, like especially at the fire, you know, at the fire station. You're like, like, when did she on? come back? I don't know. And that's why I was at the house Saturday. I needed her medical paperwork. I don't know either. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know how serious the surgery was. Either. She had incisions and all sorts of stuff, according to her and Matt. Her back? Matt. No, Matt. Her oh, husband, Matt. her boyfriend, baby daddy. Gotcha. So yeah, I don't know, like. If you can come back right away, or if you have to have downtime, so. Well, and that's why I went Saturday. It was uh, I tried calling him. They don't answer her phone. He doesn't answer his phone, so I tried calling him. And they didn't answer. So I, I got to have the paperwork. See what right. she's doing. Right. Because in theory, she shouldn't be allowed to work without a doctor's release. I don't have that. Right. Right. You want to make sure she's okay. Cause she's... I didn't. I got it. I had to push for a doctor's release on her back, and I was not comfortable the way that came about. And I didn't let her run squat. So when you talk to that lawyer again, we I have to have a medical release for her to come back. In. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna tell him. Be like, talk. listen, I understand. No, whatever. Not back then. But we need. That'll be the next thing. We yeah. want to come back. She gets hurt, and then I get sued. Yeah. We get sued no. I guess the next thing to do talk is to if she wants to play the game. She can't come back as that administrative assistant. That was just a creative position so she could earn money. Gotcha. So you took care of her again. Mm -hmm. Then she fucked you. Mm -hmm. okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, like I said, they they asked for like a week or so, 10 days to get some, to get the timeline together. But, you know, I told them, I said, you know, we, we got to keep moving forward. We can't, we can't. I didn't want to say play the game, but we can't, you know, got to we got to get this information. So everybody, you know. Well, like I said, I'm not going to drag her name through the mud, but I'll tell you, it's it started off and it was playful, I guess is the easiest way to put it. And did I overstep the boundary a little bit? Probably, but I never did anything to hurt her. Yeah. Just tried to help her. She is a very emotional young lady. I worried about her killing herself, overdosing. She's told me she had her husband take the gun away or the boyfriend take her gun away because she thought she was going to put a gun in her mouth. Wow. So. Yeah, all that will come into play if it goes all the way. Yeah. We'll see. Yep, so that's what we got. So do what you need to do. I'll get a hold of Brian later this afternoon tell him he's in charge. Uh, I'll let the, I guess I'll let PD, Dave Scott can just 
Let's see your administrative leave. I'll contact Brian Gutman, give him his phone number, and do it that way. That's all we're saying. That's all Just I'm doing. Paid administrative leave. No, nothing else. You don't deserve any nobody needs further an explanation. explanation. Yeah, nobody gets an explanation. They don't. They don't get nothing. Not from Tracy anyway. Uh, tell Rachel for your time. She needs to go. Let me know now. Uh, that and that's it. And we go from there. Yeah. You know, let uh, I guess let him speculate. <laughs> when I get the, the charges and all that stuff, we certainly will call you back and have discussion again. Yeah, so the timeline hopefully is we're just gonna wait to get this information in and then um, we're gonna we're gonna turn it over to Clemens and Nelson so they could ask, you know, questions of her, of you, of whoever, whoever if you know any um, of that stuff was there witnesses, can I ask? No. So Her dad was there Saturday. Okay. At the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you talk to him? Her dad. Yeah. Yeah. Did he like? Yeah. Like nothing. No and I'll tell you a funny story. There's always she, you know, and this is where it just blows my mind. She said, every time when I see any of my employees, you can ask Kirk Claus, and I give him a hug every morning. Sometimes I give him a kiss. I tell him I love you. Mm -hmm. And she told me Saturday morning, walking out the door, I love you. So was it sexual in nature? No. It was more like a father trying to take care of a kid in nature. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't care. I just really don't give a shit. So. All right. If All right. you hear anything, let I'll you be know. in touch with you. Yeah, and I think once once all the stuff comes in, you know, you said what do they want out of this, what resolution do they want, we probably will know more. Yeah. You know, I think I think um yeah, I mean I have to, no idea. I don't know, but I think like we'll definitely know. We'll definitely let you know. See, you know, and I would probably get an attorney just to have your back, and you know, especially for the pre-discipline hearing, you know, you should have an attorney come with you. Um, but other than that, I don't know. Unfortunately, we're kind of in the dark That's until fine. they give us whatever they have. So. He just gave you a little teaser. Basically, which was annoying. Well, I'm sure he wouldn't have taken the case if he didn't think he had some. So. Unless, unless they have the medical case, I don't, and I don't know. I don't know who's got the medical case, but there was a drug mishap in the medical case. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I, I don't know. I just people these days. I just that's we've talked. Him and I have had these discussions about it. It's getting old with all the bullshit we got to fucking. Well, yeah. There's more bullshit it gets, it gets, than anything it gets else. Old. You're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to help people, and, I and that's what pisses thing. me off. I'm getting tired of helping people get the shit kicked. Out. Right. I mean, you, know what? Get, you get kicked in the nuts. You know what? You try to help somebody. And it say might thankless just be, job. It just might be just easier just to stop helping. Yeah. I'll miss that. Yeah. But no, I hear you. I mean, you get kicked in the teeth. You get you know whatever, and people are just like, Psh. "Oh, you, you well, deserve it." Well, you, you know. if I meant to do her any harm, I'd have done it, but I didn't. And if she had an issue, she should have said something to I, someone. I know you well enough, and you're the way you are, that you only try to help people. You never try to fuck somebody. Right. And it just it just infuriates me that I have to sit here and have this well, right. I'm always in tears myself. Because no, I've been there. Uh, no, I, believe me, I get it more than anybody else here. I get it. You know, when, when you help, help Jen forever in my whole life, taking her kid to school, Hey, go talk to this teacher. Call them teachers to help her kid, and they get fucking shit on. Them. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I, it just it just gets old. Yeah. It truly gets old. And when is enough enough? Obviously, you get to the point where enough's enough. I I'm you. frustrated with the workers. You know, guys quitting and leaving. I mean, that's on my mind, and it just keeps on one thing after the next. Tracy's ready to retire. I know. I, I, <laughs> I, he and I had this talk a couple weeks I'm ago. I'm sitting right now. If it makes things better, I'll retire today. You know, I have no problem with that. That's, up, that's obviously up to you. I, obviously, I mean, I just, I think it might take a lot of the anger out of the, you know, the attorney that, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like okay, it's done. It's done. Well, but we it, can't tell you. If he's after financial gain, it ain't done. So, but if. If he comes, if he comes just as a complaint to the city. One thing. If he goes to the, the that, then we can't control that. If it goes to the courts, 
they'll decide if they're going to move forward or not. Right, but... So, but those are two separate issues. But, but, you, you could only, you know, if she goes against the city, you can only, you know, she usually go against the deeper pockets. You don't go against, you know, usually people. But she but, just up and told us basically today. Well, right, and we immediately That's took action. Point. Immediately took action. So the fact that, you know, she can't say she was wrong by the city. So if, if you know, you can't say you're wrong, then you're not wrong, then maybe it'll just, just be done. I don't know. I've never, I don't know. I don't know what's in her brain. When he says she's I, well, unstable, right, she's crazy. I don't know what's in her very, brain. She's very unstable. I don't know but, what's in her brain she, either. Would you think she's out looking for money? I don't I know. No I don't idea. know her from the Hill of Bay. She walked in there, I'd have to say, who is that? Probably. I, is she looking for money? I don't know. I don't know either. But I do know that when she had her back surgery, she, she was pregnant, used all of her sick time in pregnancy, blew her back out, and she wasn't, it was two or three months, maybe four months, blew her back, had to go in for surgery, and she was out of sick time, out of everything. So Rachel and I made arrangements to give her 250 hours of sick leave so she could pay her insurance for that baby. It's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. And, this, no, this and then, sense. yeah, none yeah. of this makes sense. It makes no sense. Okay? It, it makes no sense. I, just, I mean, and like I said, I don't know her to even comment on her because I don't yeah, know. Yeah. But, but as you said, you know, no good, good deed goes on. Right, when you're dealing with potential crazy, that's not good. Well, and like I said, I don't want to call her crazy. She's a goddamn good EMT. She's a good person on the, on the inside, on the outside. But, Right. There's something that's going on now, you know, it's, she's, she's, I don't know, I ain't going to go into detail with you guys, but she's told me shit that just blows my mind. No, that's, all I'm asking you, and I know you get to that point, please defend yourself if you need to, that's all I'm saying. Right. Please, and please. if you choose just, retirement, I mean, that's, you do what you want. That's on you, that's not, like, you know, that's, that's totally. No, good. I can't, I'm not going to retire and leave my ass out to dry. Right now I have some city protection. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Okay. No, I agree with you totally. That's why, you know, you need the city to... Um, well, you got to see what the charge is. You got to see what the charge is, yeah. See what, uh, what they're doing. If they're just coming internally, then you can make decisions like that. Yeah, absolutely. If they're going externally, then, then you know, it you might... have to have some protection there. Yeah. You have so, to. yeah, it just... You just let's let it run its... Basically, it runs its course, you know? Uh, innocent till proven guilty. Um, what you say and how you only you and her know the whole true substance of that. Nobody else does. I know the type of guy you are. Now, I am. So. I am too nice. I am too good a guy to drag her through the mud, but I can't. No, but I won't. But if it means to defend yourself, no, that's yeah. all I'm saying. Just that's, keep keep all options open. It, yes. You know, just keep all options open because if it's coming like, you know, hard and fast, and you know, she's just. Doing all kinds of stuff that you know you're like this isn't true. I mean you gotta be you gotta be true to yourself. I'm gonna too. say in her mind it is. She probably yeah. feels it is true. That not only anything that I've ever done to anyone is not malicious. Yeah. You've, you've helped people that you absolutely hate. Mm -hmm. you've, and, and so <laughs> right. have I. No, I mean. No, I, I know. <laughs> I'll deal with Vince Dale and both of us. We absolutely can't stand him. I mean, he'll say it. I'll say it to his face. We can't stand him. He acts like we're his buddy. And we do what we have to do to survive that situation is what I, the way I look at it. I do what I have to do, and if it's right to help out, then I help out. If it's not, then no. And that's the same as him. I mean, he doesn't have to go on EMT calls when the fucking two women are out there and a the guy's 400 pounds. Yep. Kent goes out and busts his back and can barely walk, but he goes and helps somebody do that. Right. And he doesn't have to do that. You know, the guy, you could joke and say, hell, he should have just let him die, you know, or the guy that Narcan's himself 87 fucking times. Nice. The other day, you told me you went, I forget how many canisters you used. It was an exorbitant number, mm -hmm. you told me. Yeah, he should have died. And 19, we should have stopped 19 at 10. 19 Narcans they used on one guy oh my God. to bring him back. He could have stopped at 5 and hey, we tried our best, the guy's dead. But no, he goes above and beyond. I know, and you That's get fucked. And you get fucked. You get fucked. I, I, just, I ain't no sense talking no more about because it just drives me fucking crazy. All right. Fucked. So I'm sorry. When you go, you go home, whatever you do. Well, I'm a, I I'll, get, I'll get shit out of my truck. I'll tell Brian I ain't got a problem. All right. Tell Brian he's in charge. Yep. Okay. And if he has any issues, to call me. Yep. Please. Uh, he doesn't need to deal with others. Uh, yeah. We'll go that way. I'll tell other supervisors. Don't, don't tell him anything. I ain't going to tell him shit. Paid administrative leave. Paid administrative leave. Peace out. Got to go.
And I, I think uh, I would have you talk to Lucas because I don't think I think it should come from you. Yeah. If you I'll want talk me to go do it, I'll I'll talk to the boys. Okay, you take care of it. Because I, uh, I will employ the, the middle boy. Okay. I will uh, All right. call the mayor. And I'm going to tell you, she's probably got enough to hang me out to dry. And I just wish I would pay her shit. You know? Well, let's see what comes around. Well, I don't like to kiss. You know, before I grab her by the face, she would fall on her eyes. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry for her. I grabbed her, looked at her in the eye. She didn't fall away. She leaned it. And what was it? Yeah. Don't worry. I'll give you all good. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> hey, we did the we did the pat, the three pats. <laughs> all right. Tracy, you wanna give me a ride? Oh, I got home. Yes, yeah.